A leading COVID-19 model is forecasting a second wave of coronavirus deaths across the United States from September, as Arizona's hospitals near an alarming 83% capacity and other states see record spike in infections. The University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation said on Thursday that it expects death to peak again in September due to a surge of mobility across the U.S. in the last two months as states started reopening and lifting lockdown measures. Its latest model, which has been cited often by the White House, projects 170,000 deaths by October 1. Currently, more than 112,000 Americans have died from COVID-19 and over two people have been infected by the virus. Fears have been mounting of a second wave of COVID-19 infections after daily infections and hospitalizations have spiked to record levels in multiple states. Despite the potential for a surge, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said the U.S. can't shut down again as governors of hotspot states pressed ahead with reopenings after facing pressure to fire up their economies. The surge in new cases has occurred in the two weeks since Memorial Day as the majority of states lifted stay-at-home orders. Some states like Arizona, Texas and North Carolina are now seeing more hospitalizations from COVID-19 than they did a month ago at the peak of the pandemic. Hospitals in Arizona were warned to activate emergency plans this week as the health department revealed they had already reached an alarming 83% capacity. The state's hospitalizations have surged in the last two weeks and recorded a high of a 1,336 new COVID patients on Thursday. Official figures show a 211% rise in virus cases in Arizona in the last two weeks. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey said shutting down his state for the second time to curb the spread was not under discussion. This is about saving lives. This is also about livelihoods in the state of Arizona, he said. The number of daily infections are now spiking in states like Texas and Florida to the highest they have been throughout the pandemic. Texas had a record-breaking daily case increase just one week after the state entered phase three of its reopening plan. The Department of State Health Services reported 2,504 new cases on Tuesday, surpassing the previous single-day record of 1,949 on May 31. Texas has also reported three straight days of record hospitalizations, with 1,935 on Monday, 2,056 on Tuesday and 2,153 on Wednesday. While the state is pushing ahead with its reopening, cities like Houston are considering enforcing a second stay-at-home order given the surge in new cases. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner and Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo said on Thursday they are considering reopening a previously unused makeshift hospital at a football stadium to cope with a potential influx. I want the reopening to be successful. I want the economy to be resilient, Hidalgo said but I am growing increasingly concerned that we may be at the precipice of a disaster. Officials in Austin said Thursday they would likely extend stay-at-home and mask orders past June 15 after the state reported its highest new case count the previous day. Austin health officials blamed a record week of infections on easing business restrictions and Memorial Day gatherings. Arizona Gov Ducey and Texas Governor Greg Abbott both say their hospitals have the capacity to avoid the experiences of Epicenter New York, where the system was stretched to near breaking point as some COVID patients were treated in hallways and exhausted workers stacked bodies in refrigerated trailers. As Florida reported its highest daily tally of new coronavirus cases on Thursday, Governor Ron DeSantis unveiled a plan to restart public schools at full capacity in the autumn, arguing the state's economy depended on it. Florida's health reported 1,698 new infections on Wednesday, almost 20 percent higher than the previous daily record of 1,419 cases recorded on June 6. DeSantis has attributed the spike to an increase in testing and has vowed not to roll back the state's phased reopening. North Carolina reported record COVID-19 hospitalizations for a fifth straight day on Thursday, a day after legislators passed a bill to reopen gyms, fitness centers and bars in a state where more than one in ten workers are unemployed. Meanwhile, some states are reconsidering reopening measures due to the influx of cases. 
Utah Governor Gary Herbert said most of his state will pause reopening after a 126% rise in cases over the past two weeks. Facing budget shortfalls and double-digit unemployment, governors of states that are COVID-19 hotspots have pressed ahead with reopenings that are now raising fears of a second wave of infections. Orders to close businesses to stop the spread of the virus beginning in mid-March have badly harmed the world's largest economy, leading to tens of millions of layoffs and an unemployment rate of 13.3% in May, a figure reminiscent of the Great Depression 90 years ago. Wall Street stocks reversed days of gains on Thursday, with the Dow plunging 1,800 points into the red after the Labor Department reported another 1.5 million people filed new claims for unemployment benefits last week. The Dow rebounded on Friday by opening 600 points higher. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin says the United States can't shut down its economy again because of the virus. We can't shut down the economy. I think we've learned that if you shut down the economy, you're going to create more damage, Mnuchin said. He said that another $1 trillion in rescue funds will flow into the economy over the next month and that he was prepared to go back to Congress for more money to protect jobs and workers. Mnuchin said aid for states would be subject to negotiations with lawmakers.